Hi there, I'm Sean Dillman. If you're watching this video, then you want to know how to clean your desktop scanner, and you may be asking yourself questions like, will cleaning my scanner maintain performance and prevent damage? Should I be using water or other liquids, aerosol or alcohol spray, or compressed air to help with the cleaning? And what parts of my scanner should I be cleaning, and how often should I be cleaning them? The answers to these questions are exactly what we're going to look at in this video. As always, if you like this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're interested in buying any of the supplies that I use in this video, please be sure to use one of my Amazon affiliate links so that Amazon will send me a small commission at no cost to you. Finally, if you're watching this video and you don't have a desktop scanner, or if you already do have a desktop scanner and you'd like to win one for a friend, keep posted to my channel for a giveaway that I'll be announcing later this year, which will give you a chance to win a brand new Ricoh ScanSnap iX1600 desktop scanner. Before I begin, please note that this video is sponsored content brought to you by Ricoh. But as always, all of the opinions expressed are my own. Also, keep in mind that the following instructions are intended to help you clean your scanner, but you need to take care when doing this and proceed at your own risk. Neither I nor anyone else is responsible for any damage you may cause to your scanner as a result of following the instructions in this video. In a minute, I'll get into the details of how to clean your scanner, but first I'll talk about how cleaning your scanner can help maintain performance and prevent damage. Cleaning your scanner regularly can help in the following seven ways. First, by improving image quality and ensuring that your scans are sharp and clear. Dust, dirt, and smudges on the glass can cause poor quality scans that have streaks, spots, or blurry areas. Second, by preventing mechanical issues and keeping parts moving nice and smoothly. By preventing dirt and debris from accumulating in the scanner, you can avoid jams, misfeeds, mechanical failures, and excess component wear. Third, by prolonging your scanner's life cycle by reducing wear and tear on parts. The easier it is for your scanner to do its work, the longer its lifespan will be. Fourth, by maintaining calibration, consistent performance, and accurate scanning. Excess dirt and debris buildup can cause incorrect readings and misaligned scans. Fifth, by preventing overheating and ensuring proper ventilation and heat dissipation. Ensuring that dust doesn't accumulate in your scanner can ensure that heat won't build up and cause damage to components. Sixth, by ensuring smooth paper handling and reducing interruptions and errors during scanning. By having less dust and debris inside of your scanner, you can increase your chances of avoiding frustrating jams and misfeeds. Seventh and lastly, having a clean scanner can improve efficiency by reducing the need for rescanning due to poor image quality caused by dirt or smudges. This saves time and improves productivity. Okay, so now that we know about the benefits of cleaning, I want to show you the simplest thing that you can do to get the biggest effect, which is to clean the glass in your scanner using a soft, lint-free microfiber cloth, like the kind that you would use to clean reading glasses or a computer screen. The reason that you want to use this kind of cloth in particular is because it won't scratch the glass or leave behind dust, lint, or debris, like other kinds of cloth or towel might. This is important because to get the best results possible, you want the glass to be as clean as possible. For example, if you're using a Ricoh or Fujitsu ScanSnap iX1600 scanner, you can access the glass by pulling on the Release tab, which will give you access to the automatic document feed scanner housing. If you're using a different kind of scanner, you can usually find a similar way to access the inside of the scanner, and if you're not sure, you can check the user manual. For example, with this ScanSnap iX100 scanner, you can simply pull open the top cover like this. Once you have your scanner open, you'll see all kinds of parts and components. However, the main thing we're looking for here is the glass, which, as you can see, is a clear stripe that runs the entire length of the inside of the scanner. The glass is one of the most important components inside of a scanner. Underneath it is the technology used to scan the information on the documents as they move through the machine. Because it's important for it to be clear to get the highest quality scans possible, cleaning the glass is the best way to get the most benefit from cleaning your scanner. No matter what kind of scanner you have, the first step you should take when cleaning it is to turn it off and unplug it, just to be safe and avoid any possible electrical hazards. Next, open your scanner and use a soft, lint-free cloth, like the one I mentioned, to gently wipe the glass and remove any dust and smudges. By using a light blue cloth like this one, you can check to see if any debris comes off the glass and onto your cloth. If your cloth is a bit discolored, or if you can see some grime on it, then you likely wiped off some debris. If your cloth remains perfectly blue, then your glass may be clean and you may have wiped everything off. With respect to using liquid solutions to assist with cleaning, 
I recommend that you use these only in rare situations when you know that there's some kind of difficult debris that isn't coming off by using a cloth alone. This situation comes up for me sometimes when I scan a page that has wet pen ink on it and I haven't waited long enough for it to dry. If you scan a document like this, it can sometimes leave some of the ink behind on the glass, which can cause a vertical streak to appear on the scanned images, which goes from the top of the page all the way to the bottom. If you've ever had this happen and you can't get the ink off the glass with a cloth alone, you may want to try water with some mild detergent or Rico's own F1 cleaner solution. If you're going to use a solution, I recommend using a two cloth approach. Use one cloth as your moist cloth and apply the solution to it before wiping and use a second cloth to keep dry and use after you use the first cloth to do a final wipe and ensure that no residue or moisture is left on the glass or inside of the scanner. Just to be clear, when using any solution, apply it directly onto the cloth, not onto the glass or any other components in the scanner. And as much as possible, avoid excess moisture and use only as much solution as you need. In addition to cleaning the glass, you may also sometimes find that you need to clean the rollers and sensors inside of your scanner. The rollers move the documents through the scanner and the sensors provide the scanner with the information it needs about this movement and the documents being scanned. Depending on the kind of scanner you have, there may be a few kinds or many kinds of rollers, like brake rollers, feed rollers, eject rollers, pick rollers, and other kinds of rollers. There may also be different kinds of sensors, like document sensors, which sense location, and ultrasonic sensors, which sense paper thickness and detect when multiple documents are inadvertently fed through at the same time. However, even though I'm giving you this extra bit of information, you don't need to be an expert on rollers or sensors when you're cleaning your scanner. All you need to know is that you don't want there to be any loose dust or debris inside of your scanner, and that if you find any, you should follow the same steps I gave you for cleaning the glass. Once your scanner is powered off and unplugged, access the inside and use a clean cloth to gently wipe the rollers and sensors. Once you've done your cleaning, plug the scanner in, turn it on, and run some test scans. If everything's working fine, you probably don't need to do anything else, and there's likely no need to do any more cleaning. However, if you're experiencing problems with how documents are being fed, or if you can see that there's still debris on a roller or sensor, you may want to try using a mild detergent or the F1 cleaning solution that I mentioned earlier. As part of the cleaning process, if you think that you need to clean a particular sensor, and if you're having a tough time cleaning it with a cloth, you can also try using a cotton swab for more precise cleaning. At this point, I'll mention that some people may think that using a gas duster or compressed air is a good way to help with cleaning the inside of a scanner, but I personally don't recommend it. The blasts of air that come from these products can be very powerful and damage delicate internal components. They can also release small amounts of liquid and result in unwanted moisture being discharged into your scanner. For these two important reasons, I strongly suggest that you not use compressed air to clean your scanner. Now that I've shown you how to clean your scanner, let's discuss how often you should clean it. Depending on the model you have, you may find that the manual gives you guidance on how often you should be cleaning the glass and other components. For example, the manual for this iX100 suggests that I clean the glass after every 100 sheets, depending on the kinds of documents I'm scanning. If I was scanning a large stack of high quality photographs, I can be reasonably certain that little or no debris would be coming off them and into my scanner. However, if I was scanning documents containing writing in pencil or pages where the toner easily comes off the page, I could expect bits of ink, lead, toner, and paper debris to be left behind in the scanner. Now, even though I'm a scanner fanatic, I don't necessarily clean based on a set number of scans that I perform. In practice, instead of tracking scan jobs and cleaning on a regular basis, I clean my scanner based on how frequently and heavily I use it. If I know that I'm doing a lot of scanning, I may clean my scanner every few weeks. If I'm using my scanner more lightly, such as a couple of times a week, I may give it a quick cleaning once a month. If I use my scanner even less than that, I may only check on it a few times each year. And finally, if I'm doing a particular scan job that includes scanning lots of documents that I know will be leaving behind lots of debris, such as the kinds of pages that I've already mentioned, I'll clean my scanner right away afterwards so that I know that it'll be nice and clean for future scan jobs. Another thing I may do that you can try is to use specially made cleaning paper. This paper is made from fabric and to clean your scanner with it, you simply scan it through as many times as is needed. If you want to try cleaning paper as an option, it may be a quick and easy solution for you. So to recap, cleaning your scanner is a simple process that can greatly improve its performance and extend its lifespan. By using a microfiber cloth, you can effectively remove dust and debris from the glass without leaving any residue. For tougher spots, a mild detergent or a specialized cleaner like Rico's F1 solution can help. Remember to also check and clean the rollers and sensors to ensure smooth operation. How often you should clean your scanner depends on the model you have and how frequently you use it. 
but a good rule of thumb is to clean it whenever you notice performance issues or after scanning documents that may leave residue. Finally, if you want to try cleaning paper as an option, it may make for a quick and easy solution. Okay, so before I wrap up, if you liked this video, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If there's anything that you have questions about that I didn't cover in this video, please be sure to comment below and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. If you end up purchasing a microfiber cloth or cleaning solution, please use my Amazon link below so that I'll get a small commission from Amazon, which will support me and my channel. So with that, there you have it. That's my guide on how to clean your scanner. Thanks again for watching. As always, I'm Sean Dillman.